All right, it's been a hot minute since I've even talked about this stupid little Fiat here. And you know what I decided to talk about a few things I've done to it in the past few months that I haven't really shared with the world. Not a lot of people have seen what I've done to this car other than people I've met in real life or like people who have me on Snapchat and people who view my Instagram stories. Those are the only people who know what have been done to this car in the past few months. I think it's about time I tell the world what all has been done to the stupid little meatball here. All right, to start it off, first thing I did was an intake. Simple little intake. Should be the first mod, one of the first mods you do in a car. It's taken me about two years to do now, so we finally have an intake. I went with the ATM Holy Cal intake because it's just one of the best ones you can get on the market straight up. There's no other intake out there in my opinion other than their fender well intake that is that can compete so we did that after that uh she needed a new set of shoes i bought some new tires not a big deal i went from a 195 to a 205 nothing big just some more traction just to have more fun with the car the tires feel amazing they're firehawk indy 500s every other fiat guy runs them on the 17s i haven't seen anybody run them on the 16s so i think i'm one of the first people to run them on the 16s as far as i know but you know what they they feel fine i love them next thing i did was a little bit of a comfort level i needed to enhance the comfort of the car and that was with a double din unit yes i bought a double din unit an aftermarket radio for the car because i needed bluetooth audio and i wanted my android auto and my apple carplay because without those i don't know i just it, i love it i love having android auto i love being able to just plug my phone in and spotify instantly starts playing and i can go through and pick whatever song I've been listening to, go to my recently played, it's, it's awesome. And it really helps having ways and stuff like that when I'm traveling about an hour to two hours to do shoots, to go to car meets, changes everything. The next mod is kind of a cheap mod that I'll be talking about in a later video. Um, I took out the rear seats. You can do that for free, but I put, you know, a little bit of carpet and a piece of wood in there. Makes it look real official. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's cheap. That was like 15 bucks to do. Anybody can do that. Next thing I did. Now this is one of the last little big pieces of the puzzle. I finally got a tune. I mean, I, I wanted a tune. I needed a tune. These cars need a tune. I'm sorry. If you run this car without a tune and you run it stock, you are wasting a whole bunch of power, a whole bunch of just capability through the engine. It's ridiculous. So what tune did I go with? Did I go with Euro Compulsion, the one everybody goes with? Did I go with Torque Motorsports, which has some beef with Euro Compulsion or it's vice versa? Or did I go with 500 Madness, you know, one of the first original companies to start working on these cars? No, I went with Speed Motive. Why? Well, it was 600 bucks and I have the ability to hit up Lorenzo Abarth on Facebook anytime I need to if I have issues with the tune. Biggest reasons right there. And I gotta say, I love it. I did the tune yesterday right before I drove two hours to a meet. The car felt phenomenal. Third gear pulls like a mother trucker. It just, it goes. Fifth gear actually builds boost all the way and it doesn't just shut off at like six pounds. So it feels, feels very, very good. I love the car a lot more now. I did some spark plugs too before I did the tune because you have to be safe you can't just run a tune like this all willy-nilly without replacing at least something jeez shut up stupid turnpike <laughs> so there are a little bit of other small little mods I did uh, one of the big things is I replaced the lug bolts because um, when I got the tires mounted the dude was like hey you might want to get a new set of lug bolts because you're not getting as much thread into the actual um, actual hub itself or whatever you want to call it. The, the bolts weren't going in as far as they should have and I replaced those and that was an easy little thing to do. But other than that, not much else has been done to the car. I, oh, oh, I changed out the stickers. Isn't that awesome? I mean... Whoa, the best mod ever, changing out those stickers. I, everybody should do it. Just 
Each one added about five horsepower. The car feels amazing now. But yeah, she she's fun. She's a lot, a lot better. Uh, next few things I want to do to it is just to dial in the suspension a little bit more. I've been running those lowering springs for a while now, and I have clunks both in the front and the rear. I know what the front are, and I know what the rear are. The front is because of that top hat structure. It's just terrible on the Fiat's, and I just I need to spend the time and fix that. The rears is because I was a dumb dumb and I didn't put in the actual rubber boot that separates the spring from the actual metal part of the bottom there that it sits in. So that's just as simple as raising up the car and throwing those on. But other than that, not much more is gonna get done to the car as of now um, because it's a daily. I don't want to throw too much money into it yet until I get a second car. So that's about all there, there is to it for the Fiat update. We'll probably make a video on some of these mods I've done. I definitely want to do one on the, the Holy Cal intake. I want to do one on just discussing tunes, why I picked the speed motive more in depth. And uh, that's about it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a little bit of a different style. I. I don't really want to take the Fiat videos too, too seriously. I want them more to be like, I own the car and here's what I did. And just to help out people who own the car too, because I'm not the only owner of a, of a Fiat 500 apart. And a lot of y'all do need some help with these builds. They can be a little, uh, a little daunting, but once you get into it and once you look through some forums, you get a general idea of how to go about modding these cars. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care.